and welcome to a special episode. This is Fran's Food Fun Christmas. So we're sitting here by my fireplace now. Yes. Now it's not as elaborate as, as previous years. But, but it's sparkly. It's sparkly. Yes. Exactly. So we've got And there's a cute wee little tree. Mm -hmm. And there's something sticking out of the little tree. It's my, oh. uh, well, you can't see it, but you'll see it in the pictures. Yes. So it's yes. my little critter. But but welcome, and we hope you enjoy this day with us. Yeah. And when you finally hit the holidays, we hope you enjoy them as well. Exactly. And have lots of fun, and lots of rest, and lots of food, and more rest. And fun. <laughs> and friends. And yeah. Be sure this. to gather lots of them around. Exactly. Yeah. So today, I'm going. We're going to uh, celebrate our holidays together. Mm -hmm. And so here's the menu that we're having today, because we're going to uh, obviously. Yay! Be fun. So, okay, so we're doing a late lunch. Now, late lunch is going to consist of appetizers, and I've written down some of the ones that we're going to have today. Okay. So, we're going to have a prosciutto wrapped fig Ooh. with goat cheese. So, I'm going to show you how to do those. So, I've got some ready to go, but um, I'll mm -hmm. show you how to, to make those as well. Um, cocktail shrimp with our sea, with the seafood sauce. Which we is love, love cocktail shrimp. Um, I have a hummus, but it's made with chipotle. That's going to be interesting. It's, very, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to do a baked brie with a red hot pepper jelly, so we it's one of our that. standard favorites, yes. which is lovely for entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, Bursan cheese, which is one of our, it's also one of our favorites, so yes. you'll, you'll know all this stuff from actually watching some of our previous well, episodes. I was smelling garlic when I came in. Oh, that's from something else. Oh, okay. So that would be interesting. And of course, we have assorted crackers as well. Mm -hmm. Now, besides us. Yep, yeah, two crackers here. <laughs> For our supper this evening, yes. we are going to use my electric raclette. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, my sister gave that to me for Christmas, so it's going to be it's an inaugural debut. Yes. I did write down some of the things we're going to have. Now, not necessarily all goes on to the, uh, the raclette itself. So, uh, we have cooked sausages. You were smelling the chorizo, which is what we're having. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Um, little gherkins and cocktail onions. Mm -hmm. We got broccoli, which is going in there as well. All right. Um, baby corn and small potatoes, and then of course there's a cheese. Now normally you have a raclette cheese, but I don't have one. You can so use we're going to use um, a nice of, old cheddar. Yeah. Heart. So oh, that's going to be, be wonderful. wonderful. Right? So usually Helen and I also like to do a dessert together. Mm -hmm. So today's dessert is one of my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. It's English trifle. So we're going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's time to go and have some fun with food. Yeah. Well, well actually eating it. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> off we go to the next part of our show. Yay. Yay. See you later. <laughs> So um, I put the brie in the toaster oven. Mm -hmm. I put the um, it's on at 340, and I put it on a timer for about uh, 12 minutes. Okay. And then I put the convection on so that it's uh, spinning around. All right. I said these were figs, they're not their dates. So the um, oh, can you uh, hand me that? Right of on. course. So, so I, most I, of them are done. Yes. But there's two left for demonstration. There's two exactly. So I put it in this little thing here. And I've got pictures of everything, so you can see what they look like. So these are dates, and they've got uh, goat cheese, and then I put prosciutto around it, yes. and then stuck it with a toothpick. toothpick. So, okay, the one thing you have to do is you, as I make it, shove stuff around here, is you have to take the, the little pit up. Mm -hmm. So I have a knife, and you exit. So you and just then put you it, squeeze out the pit? Or you don't have to squeeze it out, because what you can do is you Take your knife and you draw it down until you feel oh. uh, resistance, and then you've hit the pit. Okay. So, and then you just, uh, when you do an X, because it opens it up like a little envelope, and then you can just take your knife and scoop out the pit. Wow. Easy. Don't eat the pit. Mm -hmm. And then from within there, you put your cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Or goat, goat cheese. cheese. Or cream cheese. Actually, cream there's cheese many would probably different work cheeses. Too, yeah. yeah. You could probably put it in here. So I'm going to do another one. So I've got an X. I'm just going to... Maybe even a sweet cream cheese. Ooh. Well, this oh, one's pineapple. This one is urban garlic. So. Okay. Oh, we're being very well, of course, because of the prosciutto. Yes. Okay. Then you take said kniffy and you slice off a piece of the cream. Goat cheese. Creamy goat cheese. I might as well change it. Creamy goat cheese. And then I'm just going to stuff it inside here. Pocket full of uh, goodness. What is this, goat cheese? Right? Yeah, goodness. It's a pocket full of goodness. Mm -hmm. right? And 
then do the second one. I'm gonna do the second one and shove it full of <laughs> creamy goodness. Creamy goodness again. <laughs> it is a bit of a mess because it's very soft. The little pocket. This is a date. Little pocket. Mm -hmm. You have a date with a date. I bought this as a package. It's very thinly sliced. The thing is, you, you take one slice, going, and then what you do is you take half. Because you don't need to wrap it around and around and around. Well, you probably could if you were being extravagant about it. We're being extravagant already. Oh, right. We don't need to go overboard. So, okay. so then you take the prosciutto. And it, basically, it already falls apart mm -hmm. in half as it is. So you're going to take one end and you're going to start wrapping it around the date. Whee! And make a little pack, a little packet, a little, well, it is a little packet, a little pocket. A present. Yeah. Present for me, Alec. Yeah. And you take a. Just remember to remove them when you're eating it. Yes, very good point. And you just shove one in through the other. Ouch! <laughs> Very elegant, isn't it? Yes. Shoving? No, no, not, not that elegant. part, no. The eating part would be very good. Might not be elegant either. No, we'll find out. Take another toothpick. And you shove one in <laughs> outside the other. And there you go. So you've got these two are now done. And I'm gonna take. Took, they took nearly no time. Oh, yeah. So then you take this and I put uh, fo it's foil lined. Yeah. Our, our regulation cookie sheet. Yep. And you know how much I love using my toaster. Yes. So I'm just going to put these on said cookie sheet. These are huge dates. They were a gift. But they're from, very, uh, they look so fresh and plump. From a friend of mine. We're, yeah, we're just going to yeah. wait for the, uh, the, brie. the brie to be done. Yes. So here you go. That's, Fabulous. So we'll put this over here for now. What are we drinking today? Well, we're drinking something that has been a tradition for more than one year, more like 20. I think so. Yeah. Uh, it is cranberry raspberry cocktail, and we both it. appreciate it. How fitting that it's red for of course. Christmas. Yes, and of course it's all sparkly in your crystal goblet. It is very lovely. Cheers. 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 Cheers to you. Uh, That's very good. Okay, I'll put that over here. Not everything has to have alcohol in it, but you could put vodka in this. Yeah. Or uh, <clears throat> hypnotique. Oh, hypnotique? Yes. What flavor is hypnotique? It's vodka with uh, fruit juices. Okay, so it would just be an additional fruit juice on top of the yeah. fruit juice. Yeah. Along with the <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Three minutes to go on the brie. Mm -hmm. So we've got here. Oh, uh, the other thing I forgot to mention as part of the menu, um, Helen and I love this stuff. It's uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, cool. Pate. <laughs> brie fart here. We got pate. What? So this one is uh, goat. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Where, no where, Ryan, I, I, I think there yours is no, alcohol in it. This is not goat. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. Fine. <laughs> so, now I think this oh has to be Lord. the weirdest show. Yeah, little forks. And yes. Very shiny, lovely forks. Yeah, I, I bought. We've had these ones before. These are the uh, the garlic uh, toast like bagel toast. Yes. And we've had these ones before too, which is rosemary and sea salt. salt crackers. These or oats, rosemary and olive oil. Yes. 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 So these are sea salt, um, and these are like little bread chips. Okay. And they are so so. so I'm gonna you. try the. You do that. Okay. Maybe I can figure out where it is. Unless you. Well, You're and, right. and then uh, let me start at the other end. Did you like the ends too? Yes. Right. Now, pate is not everyone's thing. What usually is in pate? What is it usually made out of? Um, liver from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's why well, I think it's liver, though. I think it's pork. Pork and ham. No, but it still would be pork liver. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. And that's why they say if it's um, pate with ham, then they actually do uh, grind up the meat as well as the, the organ. Okay. To, and then mix it all together. Yes, we're not making it very appetizing for you out there watching, but it it's very, tastes, it tastes good. very good. Yes. This one's glazed. Chin -chin. Chin -chin. Cheers to you. Oh. Mm. This is so good. Oh, yeah. 
there's herbs in there. Mm -hmm. And garlic. Yes. We're having a garlic fish's day. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, breeze on the stove. So I, oh, and it is. is <laughs> Alright, so I only, I put it in there for um, 12 minutes, so I think that should be fine. Now, I'm going to keep, I'm going to turn the heat up as well. The heat up to what? 400. Okay. I want these to, to be piping hot. Yeah, so these go in for about 10 minutes as well. I've seen some recipes that say you put it in the broiler. And that would be fabulous too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get to play with brie. And I see a jar over there. Yes, you do. And it's a fabulous jar. It's the right color, too. All right, so this will be fun. So you can quickly move it over here because it's very soft on the inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is as we're going to let this heat up the jelly. Brand new bottle. Yes. And then we're going to try out some of the other stuff there. Hopefully by that time we have... Uh, Meltage. Yeah. And... Hopefully our, our, uh, our date things are done. <laughs> now this is a, this is a really thick jelly. Oh. Very thick. So I don't know how much meltage we'll get out of this. If I sort of smush it around, it would be good. <clears throat> now it's possible maybe that this could have been uh, a few spoonfuls could have been softened in the microwave. Oh, you probably could do being, that too. Uh, yeah. being spread. Spread. Out. Yes. But the heat from this. Yes. And even if not, <clears throat> we just love the jelly with the brie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put this aside. Mm -hmm. So it's very simple and easy type of appetizer thing. Mm -hmm. Did you want some? Would you like some more? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. If, if what, how they were sanded, so it's softened. I love these little chicken. Yes, they are good. But I think I'm going to try. Was this the rosemary mm -hmm. and olive oil? We got sizzleage inside there. Oh, we do. Fabulous. Yeah. These only they only have to be heated up because everything in there is is edible. Edible. Ed 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 yes. So I, there you go. Dan. Thank you. So it may not take ten minutes at all. Or at least watch it. Uh, but it might uh, for the uh, prosciutto to get crispy. You never oh, know. Yeah. As long as it's, it's uh, heated, I think, mm -hmm. I'd be happy with it. Mm. There's garlic in this, too. Or it is garlic. The cheese is, um, the cheese is like an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> it's garlic with cheese. But not that we're complaining, either. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Oh, look at all the garlic you stuffed mm -hmm. up. I mean, the uh, Ooh, all the garlic. <laughs> the bursad. <laughs> Not good. Mm -hmm. Not good. Just mushy. Mm -hmm. I just said messy. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking mushy. Mm -hmm. It's good on the uh, rosemary and olive oil. Is it? Yes. Good. Well, of course, garlic goes with rosemary and olive oil. I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. let's get real. Do you so realize good. we're having mostly a Mediterranean type of uh, mm -hmm. lunch because of the date figs? The date figs. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, that you could also do the same thing with figs, either green or black. Cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Maybe put a little uh, uh, X or a slit. Stuff them full of uh, creamy goat cheese. Yeah. <laughs> wrap them with. <laughs> prosciutto, <Huh? clears throat> or you could even try uh, dried beef, or um, like wrapping it around with dried beef. Uh, Soprasetta, some sausage. Wow. Yeah. I mean, try good. different variations. Yeah, I've been wanting to try this one. Oh, I've smoked had... turkey. Oh, thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. Oh, with a garnish of cranberry. Oh, that would uh, be interesting. Sauce. Interesting. Let's try the hummus. Okay. Now this Which, one's chipotle. Okay. You go first, because I know what it's Oh, like. great. Thanks a lot. Giddy big. Okay. Back to rosemary. What do you think? Oh. Oh. 
It's very peppery. Mm -hmm. um, it has a lovely aroma. Yes. It does. It does add a, a, a nuance of adventure to it. Yes. It's very smoky yes. too. Did you notice that? Yes. Sure. Let's, let's try that, and then we'll bring the brie over. Okay. So, you see how I arrange these? In a little circle? Yes, yes, with the... Uh, so, here's, your, here's yours. Thank you. Uh, plate. Here's mine. If you'd like some lemon, you can yeah, tap some. I think I will. Thank you. And then you take... These are lovely shreds. With their... Uh, the tails. Little tails. Yeah. So that makes it easier to dip. They're so good. I will. I'm going first. I'm diving in. Watch. Dive, dive, dive. No. Mm. You didn't wait for me to go cheers. <laughs> I'll do another one over there. We have a dead body bolt. There. <laughs> right. All right. Cheers. Ready? Aim. Cheers! Oh, my is dripping. <laughs> That's why I took the little bowl. We come back to... This is uh, the brie with the chili. Yes. Give it a little handy dandy. Sharp knife. Sharp. Kniffy. Kniffy. It... Oh! Ooh, is it? So I'm going to... I'll serve you. Which crack would you like? Um, I think the... Do you want uh, the original? The these, these ones here? Yes. Okay. Excuse my... Of course. Yours here. Well, Let's... you're the one in charge of sharp kniffies. Yes. That one is not good with... No, I do strange things with sharp sure, knives. Oh, okay. Do you know that looks like uh, caviar on top? Uh -huh. uh, this is fabulous. Our by goat the figs way. are done, or whatever these things are, our date figs. Goat figs. Goat figs. <laughs> this is the show where we rename everything. Everything. Oh, sizzledge. <gasps> Brian, this is so good. Is it? Yes. <clears throat> now, Brie is. It's running out of its containment field. It is. Brie is, I guess, some people just don't like brie. Which I find quite fascinating. Mm. Oh, the, the spiciness. It really comes through. Yeah. You really do need something to kick this over. Yeah. Because brie by itself can be a little... It's not necessarily bland, but it has a, a very um, peculiar. What well, is a peculiar taste? Yeah. Right. The uh, moment of truth. Yes, they're hot. So I'm gonna put the glove on the other side. Yeah, the cute, see, so see little <coughs> things you have to do to rearrange. All right. <laughs> then we have a little server. Oh, uh, it's cute. Okay. For you for now? Yes, we not only love the food, we we feel the food. <laughs> it's all part about having fun with your food. Yep. Mm. These are fantastic. Mm. Okay, it's time for me to take a... Mm. Food, it's heaven. It's very, oh, highly, highly, highly oh. recommended. Oh, these are lovely. Never had anything the same way this We got <clears throat> three, four, a thousand thumbs up. Very, very good. I'm so, sorry, we, we have to go now. <laughs> we actually do. I have to be in private with this. <laughs> she needs to be left alone. I'm going to set up the bedroom there for her. <laughs> She can be alone and with I'll the just grab figs. the rest of the uh, the date figs. You won't see her for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, It'll just be me. No. She's gone. But we do have something else that we have to do. Okay. So we have to make a trifle. Yes. So Halika and I are going to finish all this loveliness up. Yeah. I have to show you how to make a trifle. Yeah. Yes. yes. So we're going to make our whipper. We're making whipped cream now because what are we making? 
trifle for dessert. So we're making my version of trifle, which is based on another version of a trifle, <laughs> which is also now based on something that she I just threw in. I have to make whipping cream, so. Yes. I'm going to use, I think it's two cups. Just do this way. Right, so into Mr. Whipper. Okay, so my mixer is having a fit. I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in my vanilla. This is my vanilla. I've got in this lovely big bottle here. This is called Framboise. So it's a, a raspberry liqueur. So I want to add in, I think I'm going to add in two tablespoons of this. So, voila, it's like magic. <laughs> we got whipping cream. So we'll just leave this here in set bowl. We've got all kinds of things to add into our trifle. So one thing that I'm doing differently is I have this, which is... Marble pound it's mar cake. It's marble pound cake. Yes. It's very, very good. We have all kinds of berries and things, so I'm going to add that in later. Now what you do is you, you line, basically, the bottom with pound cake. So we're just going to slide this over here so we can start slicing. So I'm just going to make it about, probably about half inch slices. And then we'll start lining the bowl. So soft. It's very good because it actually has slices. Oh, of course you had to test it out. That was the only reason. You are so dedicated to this show. Am I not? I have to make sure the quality is good. So th uh, these were sold in packs of two, which was a good thing. So I think what I'm going to do is... Because uh, we went on the bottom. So now I'm just going to line up these pieces. Against the edge. This is so pretty. And he's going, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> So now you can probably cut these into, into halves because it's going on halfway the bowl. I think it looks good the way it is. Yeah, so do I. Okay, so the next thing is a secret ingredient that I didn't tell her that was going on to. Brandy! I saw the bottle though and I had she my did. suspicions. She suspected. So I'm going to use a measuring spoon for that. Okay, so we've got a tablespoon and I'm just going to drip it over. Because of the bottle. The intention is But if it ends up in the bottom, that's. Okay. Well, that's where it's supposed to be, too, so I might do just a little bit of extra. So you just want to, you just want to flavor it. So that's why we put Frembras into the whipping cream. Into the whipping cream as well, because we want to flavor that. Okay, now we start putting in fruit. So I think the first layer, we will do strawberries. Okay. So I've got strawberries, raspberries, and Nanas. blueberries. Oh, you know what? Yeah, nanas. we got to do something with nanas. We have to soak them in orange juice. Yes, we do. So, so that they don't discolor. It's two bananas. Okay. So an easy way to peel is to peel from the bottom. Because that's what monkeys do. I've always peeled from the top and Most couldn't understand do. why I was having trouble. We need a bowl. Voila! Look. A bowl! From the Christmas Kitchen Pixies. It is. Alright, so I'm just going to put these into fairly thin slices. They're probably about half an inch or so. I'm grabbing the ends. Okay. So put that in there. And then we take banana number two. Remember peel from the end? Yes. So this, a trifle is, is more assembling than it is actually making anything. Now, I did, I was trying to buy everything, um, but I did make the custard. Oh. So it's, um, it's, I can tell you, it's just a custard powder that you Make with milk and uh, sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Easy peasy. Thank you. I was going to use something else, but I didn't have enough. So. All right, so now we need a half cup of orange juice. I bought that in the next Okay. Because the whole thing gets added into it. Oh, really? Including the orange juice? Yeah. So we're just going to stir these around. That they all get covered. Yeah. Strawberries. And... So we have to cut the ends off and then I'm going to cut them in half. Mm -hmm. And we'll start playing. So these are lovely strawberries. Which for this time of year is pretty Same amazing. Something. Yes. Okay, so now we have to add in a layer of custard. So I didn't want to skin on the custard, so I made this custard in this particular cookie bowl. Okay. 
Okay. So I just have to whip it. And you put the film on top. Yeah, put the film on top. I'm just going to whip it a bit. This beautiful yellow custard has my special vanilla in it as well. Okay. So we're going to do a layer of custard. So after every bit of fruit, we're going to do some custard. Mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna... oh. Okay, next, we are going to... Let's see for the strawberries for now. We're going to use more of these later. So now we have, I think we're going to use a blue layer. Okay. Which is blueberries. That reminds me of Pavlova's blueberries. Malenka's suggestion was to put some of my world famous brownies onto it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into pieces. Yeah. Can do that. These are these are frozen, so we're just going to be careful. These have lots in them too, so. Because I wanted nuts, so. Because she has nuts. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So it goes. All right. So this would be the first trifle I have ever seen that has brownie nuts. So you can leave it at this part. This is just because we're... Because I wanted it. And I asked nicely. She asked nicely. So for our next layer, I think I'm going to put some... Uh, Whipped cream. Yes. Yes. I took a spoon. So when I add some whipping cream... Ooh. You can smell the... Uh, I think I'm going to add bananas. Okay. So we want to add bananas. Now I'm going to add in the last of the custard, and then we're going to add in raspberries. And another of my ideas. We will be. We'll be in a coma oh. by the time this show is over. It is, after all, our Christmas episode, and <laughs> we have to do something special here. And what's more special than assembling one of my favorite desserts? Have you had a trifle? Lots of times. Lots of times. Yes. Because I know every time I ask you if you had something... Uh, you never know what I'll say. You know, yeah, final fruit. So this is... Raspberry. Raspberry. Slice up some strawberries. Take your knife and strawberry. Right, knife and strawberry. Opposite. Yes. Opposite. Very hands. funny. Okay, so then you just do little slices right to. You don't want to go too close to the to the stem. The whole idea is to make it fan out. That looks pretty. Mm -hmm. So then you've got the one slice. Make it the edge around the bowl and the tips going inwards. Yes, then they're like little Christmas trees. Yeah. So once we're finished with, with all this, we put the chocolate on top and put it in the fridge. Thank you, there. She's my turntable. Lazy suit, lazy Helenka. She has a lazy, lazy Helenka. <laughs> the colors are just perfect. My favorite chocolate is Ghirardelli's chocolate, and this one is 100% cocoa. So okay. To balance off a lot of the sweetness, you might as well use something that's a little bitter. Serious. Yes. And I have a, a little grater. I have a grater, so I'm Oh, wow, is that ever chocolate? This is even, this is really pretty. So, that, my friends, and my lady. Me? And you? This is Brian and Lenka's version of. Trifle! Yay! Yay! Do you know what's next? No. More drinking. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. And 
then it's raclette time! Yay! Yay! We'll see you then! Well, we've finally hit to the main course, eh? We have! It only took... So, let's have a look. A little while. Do a little recap. Okay. So this morning... Well, this early, early, afternoon, early afternoon, we had a late lunch. So now... Oh, and we also made a trifle. We so did. That was good too. That was fun. So, um, we're going to have a raclette. Which is a very this is the machine thing. This is the machine here. So typically it's it's for entertaining. I just want to move these out of the way because it's a lot of heat. It comes with six little paddles. Oh, yeah. These things. So you can have it up for six people or two or three hungry ones. Yeah, or just me and her. Well, that's I, oh, that's, that's food. Here's your scoop. I can I, I, I can your scraper. Yeah, I can count. So I can't apparently. <laughs> that's what we do with that. All right. So for raclette, we have the roast. Oh, potato. for cheese, I put the cheese here, and these are just uh, it's a cheddar cheese, but they're in the small little packages. Packages. And I, what I do is I, I slice them in the what do you call this? The diagonal, the horizontal. The I cut for them in the half. thickness. For the thickness, I cut them in half. We have, uh, this is a chorizo. This is the chorizo there. Yeah. Uh, you can use ham or any kind of sausage. Yep, you can use smoked turkey or kielbasa. Okay. Uh, cornichon or, in other words, um, um, gherkin. uh, gherkins. Gherkins, they're little, little pickles. You don't grill those things. Those no, are, there are those your, who uh, eat corn. Oh, and you can also have um, cocktail onions, but I like the chipotle. And is, I wanted um, mm -hmm. baby corn. Oh, it actually comes with the corn. That's what okay. it's in here. Uh, the other thing is broccoli. So this is broccoli here. Now what I did with this is it's just blanched. So it's it's cooked at a high temperature for two minutes when it's boiling. And then you just dump it into cold water and then fish it out. Uh, next thing is the baby corn, which I like referred to over yes. here. So that's part of uh, this raclette meal. And then we have these, uh, oh, these potatoes. Now the, the traditional method is boil the potatoes and I don't want them. But the newer um, the variations I've read say you can roast them. Oh, that's good. So yes. these are roasted potatoes. They're the little gems. That means they're different colors. So we have the yellow, the purple, and the red. And it's got garlic, salt, and pepper, olive oil, and a little pat of butter. And it's been cut in... into little tiny yes. quarters. And then what you do, um, so I'm going to read out how you can do this. So for the purists, so this is the, the traditional way. Yes. You quarter the potatoes, you place it on a plate. Place one slice of the cheese, which is this, in the raclette tray, which is these. And then you put it under the broiler, which is under here. And I can see it is very hot. Oh, it's red. very hot. Yes. Uh, I lost my spot. Oh, um, the molten hot melted and bubbly, which is about two minutes. You scrape. So that's what this thing here is it's a scraper. You scrape it on your plate <clears throat> over the potatoes. So, and then you add uh, paprika and pepper to taste, and then you add your pickles. There. So that's, now for variety, which we think we might do, you arrange a piece, each of the sausage, broccoli, and baby corn in the raclette tray, you top with the cheese, and then you broil under the raclette mm -hmm. broiler. Which sounds like, I mean, we can do whatever we yeah. want. Yeah, well, of course we can. It don't matter. Now, for another thing to call it for action, you chop the potatoes, you place in the raclette tray, you top it with the cheese, cheese. you broil under the, the grill. grill, and while you take the, the sausage, or in this case the chorizo sausage, yeah. and you grill, grill it. on top of the portion of the red yeah. uh, When I do this, it's very hot, yes. do not touch it. Yes. So what I thought we would do is I'll give you two red trays. trays. Yes. We are going to make both, we'll actually make one yes. first. We're going to put it under the broiler, yes. we'll make a second one as Just, the first one is yes. cooking. Does that make sense yes. for you? Yes. All right. So, what would you like? Uh, well, you like we, let's do, let's. We like to compare notes, so we're going to do both the same things. Sure. We can okay. Do that. Potato. You would like a potato. Yeah. potatoes? How many of these would you like? Well, maybe two or three. All right. Because I don't know what else we're putting here. Well, um, you're going to put some broccoli. Okay. Which I have here. Okay. You'll pass some over. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought of. Uh, Grilling mushrooms on the top. Oh, that would be lovely. And then adding. Did you them. want sausage in there? Do you want sausage on top, or what would you like? Let's put the sausage on top. On top. Okay. So, so maybe you, that'll be for now. Now you two. need some cheese on top of this. Yes. Okay. 
So this is going to be a very simple look. Yeah, you can put that. In. No, I think I'm going to let you handle all I'll the... I'll handle the broiling stuff? Yeah. Alright. So broccoli. Which I love broccoli. Okay, and then potatoes. Cheese, put that on top there. Okay, slide it on the broiler. Ooh. In the meantime, I'm just going to help myself. To, oh, olives would have been nice with this as well. I'm going to put some uh, chorizo on top so we can get some of that going for and I want, dish. And I want to grill my corn instead. Okay. So, see what happens. Oh, do I have permission? Oh, yeah. You get you get to pick it up. Wow, we have sizzling. Oh my God, what does it usually say? I love, love the sound, sound of sizzle. sizzle. Me too. too. <laughs> Me three. All right, so this will heat the treat. So this is kind of fun. Yeah. Well, we're playing with our food. We definitely are wow. playing with food. I can, I can guarantee you that. It's, it's grilling. That's great. It's yeah. Just, it's kind of like being in a restaurant. The, like the little, uh, like the Korean places. Yeah, where you get to grill your own stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Even though we're not grilling steak or anything, but... Doing vegetables. Yeah, which is a very healthy thing to do. Okay, so this is ready for you. Okay. So, oh, tomatoes. I want to put... Yeah. Them. So we'll slide okay. this off. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I think it's easy. because these are probably Teflon-y. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take this out. Okay. This is mine. Is that your first one? Yep. Okay. I think you're supposed to put paprika and oh. some pepper. Okay. So this is a smoked paprika. So it goes on the potatoes, but you can probably put it on anything. You want just the potatoes? Yeah. Oh, it's everywhere. All right. So you said then... it's going with the cheese as well. So. <laughs> Thank you. You may do, do, do mine too. Do you want the pepper now? Of course. Right. We're gone. <laughs> Complete. Now we get to try this. Yay! Yay! Okay. So we're trying first. I have a potato. Okay. Do you have any cheese on it? Uh, I don't know if I can. I'll try. Mm. Oh God. Hold on. Didn't get the cheese. Oh. I think roasted the potatoes is exactly what you need. And yeah. Wow. They're still so tender on the inside. Yep. And little potatoes is the way to go. These are absolutely highly recommended, the little ones. So I'm doing broccoli now. I'm doing something. One other potato. Mm. With the cheddar cheese? Excellent. Mm. Broccoli. Wow. Yummy, eh? Fabulous. I think what we're going to do is you gobble. get? Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> you have an idea <laughs> of what this is like, and, and our next course up is dessert. It's trifle. Yes, I know. Trifle's coming up. Yeah. It's a beautiful dish. Okay, so we'll see you right back here once we're finished here with our. It'll be like that. Great. Bye. How beautiful this thing is. So I. We All have, of a sudden, I don't feel it's too pretty to eat. We have to tell you that the raclette was amazing. Yes, you can, you'll read all about it, mm -hmm. but it was one of the most incredible meals we've ever had. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Um, we preferred just the veggies, actually, yes. to the, um, the sausage. Yeah, or ham so, or whatever. The chorizo was excellent sausage, it's just we found it was too filling. Yes, all of a sudden we yeah. felt full after just one slice. Those baby corns, um, they're perfect grilled on the top. And then you put them into the, the red club. But that's not why we're here. No, we're here to... We're not recapping that part. No, we're but you'll to... read about it, you'll watch it. Oh well. my goodness. And we'll give you variations. Oh my, do we have variations. Yes, we do. Yes. I'm, I'm just mesmerized by it. I know, it's so rifle. beautiful. So this thing has been sitting since we made it earlier today. Yeah. So now... You get to... I have a spoon. Demolish it. Well, we start to demolish. I have a spoon. How far we get. So... Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna have. Okay, no, we both. <laughs> okay. Dive! Okay. Alright, done. So now I get to. Now
No, oh, I and didn't. you're meeting resistance. I am. So but as we know, resistance is futile. With us. I'm trying to make it nice, but it's not going to be nice. It's no, gonna it's going to be a mush. It will be mush. Yeah, but it'll be the best tasting mush ever. And that's what trifle is known to be. Yes. Oh. Oh. How is it? There are no words. How is it? Mine. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Yours. All right, I get to try it this now. It is. Please go ahead. Okay. So excuse me from lifting the. Well, to bring the table to the mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, brandy. Everything. Oh wow, this is good. Everything's melted together in a way. Mm -hmm. Made wonderful friends. With the brownies I insist oh, put taste, in there. Oh, I can taste the brownie now. Because it's its own distinct <clears throat> texture. Mm -hmm. And it's much firmer than the uh, pound cake. Oh, you should dessert. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few. Right. <laughs> right. Now get back to eating. <laughs> for watching another episode of Friends Food and Fun, our Christmas special with myself, Brian, and Halenka here. We truly hope you appreciated um, Everything the fun that, that we, we did today. Yeah, it was yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah, it? it's yeah. been fabulous. So you have something in your hand. Yes. Now, I, uh, you'll notice that there's no bag of tricks, <laughs> but this is still a present for the show. Oh, okay. So yes. I get to read so it. So you get to read it. because We have it last fun. year, too. Yeah. Okay. So you can check out that uh, hour long episode. <laughs> and, the blog. Says, and the blog at okay. friendsfoodfun.tv. You'll see it there. Now, because oh. you'll, you'll need to read it and maybe um, they'll see it as well. Okay. So this says Joy. You can't buy it, you can't wrap it, but you can wish it. Now, you have to read the strikeout as well. Oh, okay. Dear and Strike Baby Toddler Show. Oh, the other thing was, and I do. Uh, so, okay. Dear baby crossed out, toddler show, Merry Christmas. Just look at you growing up and making new friends, having lots of fun, myself. And this is from Helenka on the year's 2011. Yeah. So, great. Well, our show is, our show is growing great. up. It is, yeah. exactly. So, but a show can't be complete without having a little drinky poo and celebrating our year. Mm -hmm. So I've got something here. Here's a glass for you. Thank you, and I'll hold your glass. Here's a glass and these just happen to be the glasses I gave him. Many, many, many. Yes, but many I have. Years ago. I have good taste too. <laughs> yes, you do. So we've got this. This is one of our favorite things. Mm -hmm. It's non-alcoholic. It's a sparkling. Uh, is this... this one is a sparkling apple berry juice. Okay. So because they come it's in different flavors. Yes, they do. So this one's going to be fun. So it's kind of like celebrating New Year's. Mm -hmm. Uh, be careful because there's well, a cork in it. We're doing that as well, so I will hold the glasses away. We're so I have to aim it somewhere. Where should I aim? <laughs> oh, not at you? My foot. I'd have to find another <laughs> My foot. Another co-host. My foot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can do here. And ease the cork out. Done! Look at this! Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, so you get to hold the glasses while I'm Yes, more. that sort of makes sense. Cheers. Happy New Year to happy you, New everyone. Year. And happy New Year to you, my dear. And Happy New Year to you. Cheers. And lots more fun in the New Year. Absolutely. Yeah. For us, for more fun. And we'll share with you, as we always do. Mm. It's so oh, refreshing. It is very refreshing. Yes. Thank you again for watching. So we'll see you again next year at another Christmas episode. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. product. <laughs> yeah, this is my friend Colorado. <laughs> no! She's eating trifle.
Oh god. Chlorella, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that to I'm me. Clorox. <laughs> <laughs>